Hey guys, welcome to another Unity 5 tutorial. Now, this is not really specific to Unity 5, this is more of just scripting in general, and it's been in Unity since sort of the beginning. And it's a way to carry objects or any particular item into another scene without destroying it, because you say you've got one scene and I move to the next. Everything in that previous scene will be forgotten about, it gets rid of it all, because it doesn't need to deal with that scene anymore, it's gone. It doesn't have to be a memory anymore. So if I've got scene one here, and you can see it's scene one at the top, all I've got is first person controller, directional light, a plane for the floor, and I've got an object which is classed as important object that we want to keep. In scene two, I've made sure that it's slightly different, so all it is is a plane with my uh, first person controller and we've got a cube there just to make sure that you know that there's a difference and what we want to do is we want to save this particular cube in this position and bring it with us into the next scene this can be good for things like if you want audio to go from one scene to the next and stay so say you've got a, a piece of background audio that you want throughout every single scene within your game or every single level, you can use this script and it will keep it persistent throughout. Now, it's quite, it's really simple, it's just called Don't Destroy on Load. You may have seen it before, but it's useful to know. So, what we're going to do is we're going to right click and create a new JavaScript. And then what we'll do is write Don't Destroy. And then we'll open that up in Mono Develop. So, what we'll get is we'll get the normal two functions that it comes with when we start the script. Now you could either choose to do this on a function called awake or a function called start. Start just means as soon as the script is enabled it will do it once or function awake means it will be called before a start function and even if that script isn't enabled it will still do it. So it's often um, quite useful to do a, um, it on awake if it's for an object that you want to keep um, throughout your scenes because it'll do it before any of the script is run essentially and do it whether or, or not you forgot to say enable the script and then what we could write there is we write don't destroy on load and then in brackets we can say transform with a lowercase t dot game object and we'll close it up and put a semicolon. And then what we can do is we can save that out. So essentially that is all we need to write. And it just means that when we load another scene, don't destroy the game object with its position. And if say you've got children or many different objects within one object, it'll keep all those together. So if I make an example, is my cube here. And we call we put don't destroy in it. And we want to be able to move scenes now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go game object, create empty, and I'm going to create another empty game object. So this is going to be my little thing that controls moving scenes. Move scenes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add don't destroy to that and add my other script I've made there. And all my move scene script is is that when I press 1 or 2 it will move between scene 1 and 2. So what we what I'm going to just name here is that is going to be scene one and this one is going to be scene two. So like I said before, scene one has this and scene two has a cube in the background. So now if I press play, you can see that this is here and this is only in scene one. If I press two on my keyboard to move to the other scene, you'll notice that that has been brought with me. And also you will see that my move scenes, which had the don't destroy, has actually moved with me as well. So I can move back to scene one like this. But you've got to remember that if you're moving to and from scenes that you've already been in and you're using don't destroy, it will make multiple copies. So you have to be careful, as in if I go back to scene two and then back to scene one again, it will remake a copy because it's recalling what we already had. So really, that's just a really simple way to make objects persistent, make things follow you into other scenes which you may not want to destroy, say your character 
or something. Say your character walks into a building and you want to bring the exact scripts with your all your character information on, you can say don't destroy and there it will be from exactly the same copy from another scene. So that's just the really simple way to achieve that sort of thing. So thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.